If you like your food festive and fun, you will love the Hot Pot, the Q restaurant. Mongolian Hot Pot has a very long history. You can trace it all the way back to Genghis Khan's army. They used to cook the meat by chunks, but took them forever to cook. One day when chef find out if they slice the meat very thin, they can cook it instantly. They loved it. That's how they conquered the world, speed. In China, we call it hot pot. In Europe, they call it fondue. In Thailand, they call it sukiyaki. In Japan, they call it shabu shabu. In Korea, they simply call it Ganges Khan. You start by picking a broth. We make very good broth. From mala, which is spicy, to Mongolia veggie, black bone chicken, kimchi, tom yum, and many others. Most of the broths are available in a vegetarian version. And if you'd like to have two different broths, maybe for you and your friend, or to have a variety, you can have a split pot with one broth on each side. You can choose from meat, seafood, vegetables, noodles, mushrooms, and it cooks right in front of you in the hot pot. You can have it fast within half hour, or you can have your dinner leisurely. The meat is very easy, just pick them up, put it in a broth, and count it to 10. The meat is ready. If you're not handy with chopsticks, I have two tools to help you. One is a strainer. You can get food to the broth. The other tool is the ladle. You can scoop broth out of the pot, put it in a bowl. We get a good variety of seafood. And the seafood usually takes about two minutes to cook. This is scallops. Mm. We have salmon. We have shrimp. I'll take shrimp. Mussel <laughs> and squid. Now I can like cook it in here so it's easy to find the shrimp, right? Well, since you mentioned about this, we have a tool that can really help you. Mm, I'd like to see that. We call it mince ladle. So now if I put some fish here, it's going to be very easy to find. Also, we can put some meat here. They're not going anywhere. Let's put more stuff in. We have all sorts of foods. This is assorted mushroom with all kinds of mushrooms in it. We have baby bok choy, and we have a lot of other veggies. We have noodles. This is one of the noodles called udon. Be aware, when you put leafy veggie in the spicy broth, you will taste really spicy broth. I love the mushrooms. I think the mushrooms maybe pick up the flavor of the broth more than almost anything. Right. I know it's going to be spicy, but I like it. Justin likes to challenge the spice. <laughs> and you can eat those vegetables crunchy by putting it in just for a few seconds. You can also let it stay over there for a longer time to let it absorb all the flavor. It's not like fried food, it's really fresh and light. If you come here once, you're gonna come here again. It's just so good. Uh, and there's a hot pot, there's sushi, there's cocktails, you know, pot stickers, shrimp fried rice. Like, you know, it's just, it's a great time. You're gonna enjoy yourself and you're gonna come back. Well, Q is for healthy, Q is for tasty and curious for fun. See you soon.